Rio there as they come towards the first. First of the ten flights in all, Sweet Duke on the near side lands just in the lead from High Baron and Castle Courageous. Sweet Duke towards the left of the picture from High Baron, the grey over on the far side, Castle Courageous between horses, Flaky Dove very close to the pace, then Granville again and finally King Credo. Sweet Duke lands over the second in the lead from Flaky Dove and High Baron and Castle Courageous, Granville again towards the left, tracking Flaky Dove and finally King Credo. Swinging into the home straight on this first circuit and Sweet Duke from High Baron and Castle Courageous and Flaky Dove on the far side, Granville again and King Credo. First of the two flights in front of the stands now. Number three, Sweet Duke from Flaky Dove and High Baron. Granville again makes a little ground over on the far side. Up to number four, Sweet Duke from High Baron and Flaky Dove. Slight mistake by the leader there and High Baron just takes a margin of advantage from Sweet Duke. With Flaky Dove next, then Castle Courageous, Granville again, and King Credo. Uh, High Baron now, and Michael Horrigan, with a definite advantage over Sweet Duke, Flaky Dove, Castle Courageous, Granville again on the inner, and then King Credo. High Baron running down towards the next flight, number five of the ten flights in all with a couple of lengths advantage over Sweet Duke then Flaky Dove and Castle Courageous Granville again and King Credo High Baron lands from Sweet Duke on the inside Flaky Dove Castle Courageous going smoothly on the outer and then Granville again and King Credo and all going very sweetly within themselves at the moment as they race down towards Swindley Bottom with High Baron the leader. Sweet Duke, Castle Courageous, Flaky Dove, Granville again and King Credo. Over the sixth, High Baron landed in the lead from Sweet Duke and Castle Courageous and Flaky Dove and Granville again and King Credo. Got just uh, over a mile to run now in this Coopers and Lybrand Ascot hurdle. Four left to jump and High Baron the leader from Sweet Duke on the inside, Castle Courageous, Flaky Dove, King Credo making a little ground on the outside of Granville again. High Baron, Sweet Duke, Castle Courageous, Flaky Dove, King Credo, Granville again. High Baron coming to jump the seventh. Lands boldly clear from Sweet Duke and Castle Courageous. King Credo on the outside of Flaky Dove. Granville again making smooth progress now on the inside. High Baron though, three out with a good three length advantage at the moment. From Granville again and King Credo who moves up on the outside. Castle Courageous loses a little bit of ground. Flaky Dove comes next. High Baron from King Credo, Granville again and Sweet Duke, then Flaky Dove and Castle Courageous as they round the home turn now. High Baron being almost joined by King Credo on the stand side, the right of the picture that is, and it's King Credo with Adrian Maguire looking over his right shoulder now, sees Granville again coming there over on the far side, and Flaky Dove just in behind him as they come down to the second last. King Credo lands in the lead, from Sweet Duke who's renewing his challenge on the near side, but it's King Credo who's clear as they come to the final flight now. King Credo by two to two and a half from Sweet Duke. King Credo lands clear of Sweet Duke and Flaky Dove and racing up into the closing stages and Adrian Maguire poised for his third winner of the afternoon as King Credo wins this very impressively indeed. King Credo is the winner, Sweet Duke is second and Flaky Dove is third. Quite a gap there to the champion Granville again and behind Granville again. Baron and finally Castle Courageous and so the result of the Coopers and Lybrand Ascot hurdle is first uh, number six King Credo 
owned by Mr. Jeff Gornall, trained by Steve Woodman, his first winner of the season. What a cracking race, Steve, to win your first uh, of the season, and ridden by the invincible Adrian Maguire. Second was number two, Sweet Duke, owned by Mr. Andy Mavru, trained by Nigel Twiston Davis and ridden by Carl Llewellyn. And third was number four, Flaky Dove, owned by Mr. Richard Price, trained by him and ridden by Jamie Osborne. And uh, King Credo immediately getting a 16 to 1 quote from 33 for the champion hurdle from Ladbrokes. 20 to 1, he is with William Hill. And uh, 